Stay back, Wanderer. You are welcome to our camp, but our chief is not entertaining guests. Like so many of our warriors, he has been poisoned. Only his daughter may disturb his rest. The king has waited too long. So many warriors have died, and Marima holds on to life by a thread. We will answer the king's call to the best of our ability, but I fear we can do very little. You should speak to Talyr if you haven't already. You approach the camp of the Ashaba. Unless you are here to help us, I suggest you turn around and go the other way. Faharajad sent you to ask for our help? Now? The nerve of this king. <laughs> well, if you seek my father, you should know he and many other of our warriors are extremely ill. Some are dead. Our water was poisoned. I suspect it was the necromancers, the withered hand, but it is of little importance now. All that matters is finding the ingredients for the antidote. If my father dies, there is no Ashaba for the king to call upon. Will you help me then? Come quickly then. Meet me at my tent in the camp. Care to bargain? I've marked on your map where my father says we can find the ingredients. Lead the way. I will see my fallen brothers and sister avenged, even if it is the last thing I ever do. Father has been chief of the tribe for 26 years. We would not know what to do without him. believed the withered hand would poison our water.
We must hurry. So many Ashaba have already died. That's everything. Meet me at my father's tent. Please, father. There must be some way. You must accept this, Talia. My time has come. Go. Prepare the potion. I must speak with our guest. I do not like this. But I will do as you say, father. You are welcome to our camp. We are usually generous hosts. But under the circumstances, I... I hope you understand. You have seen, of course. The tribe is weak, and I am soon to return to the sand. Another must fulfill the sacred duty of the Ashaba. That other is you. It has been foreseen. Yes. There can be no doubt. The Withered Hand. We have never faced such a threat. But it is our duty to stop them. You... You must become one of us. You must become an Ashaba. Then there is a ritual. My daughter. I told her the ingredients were for an antidote. But she knows now. They are for your initiation. There's not much time. You must decide. Are you willing to join us? To become an Ashaba? I... I understand your hesitation. But whether you join us or not, defeating the Withered Hen is your destiny. By becoming Ashaba, you are simply fulfilling our duty by doing what you are already destined to do. Nothing further is expected. Thank you. You move a great weight off of the heart of a dying man. The future of our tribe, our honor, depends on you fulfilling our duty and fighting the withered hand. My daughter is not happy right now. She's as stubborn as her mother was. But death will not be stayed. Be assured though, Initiate, after you complete the trial, she will help you Fight the hand, if you wish. That is good. I believe she has finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Speak to her when you are ready to begin the trial. May... To walk or guide your path, Initiate. Always. The great man lies dying over there, and he has put all his faith in you. I hope it is not misplaced. I have finished mixing the potion for your initiation. Whenever you are ready, we can begin the trial. Very well. Then here it is. Go to the Mikada in the back of the tent and drink. Be prepared, Initiate. The potion will bring on a vision of the past. When the vision is over, you will know what it means to be a Shaba. Samir, my brother. Finally you stir. 
Did you drink too deeply from the starry well last night? This is unlike you. Quickly, pull yourself together. We can afford no idle time today. Morwa's mercy. Maybe you took a head bump too. Did you forget about the battle? The regatta will drive these evil elves from our lands for good. I am to fight at your side today, brother. Tell me you still feel up to it. Now there is the Samir I know. Sometime you will have to tell me what has befallen on this last night. A story of wildness, I am sure. Come now, though. Our father prepares to address the regatta. He is expecting us. Samir, I am really starting to worry. Have you been ensorcelled? The year is 853. Our father is King Jaquan. Come from old Yakuta to settle here in the Alakir Desert. I hope this is starting to sound familiar. Blade's Edge, I am sorry. You are the crown prince, but I am your brother and I was worried. Please tell me you are all right. I have been looking forward to this battle for weeks, but father will not let me fight unless you lead the way. Because they do not want us here. Our people came across the sea from old Yakuta to settle here, but these elves, the Koralanya clan, they will drive us from these shores. We are making our stand today, letting them know we are here to stay. The Ashaba? These people I do not know. Are they also elves? If we must, we will kill them too. I need you to focus though, Samir. Focus on the battle today. We should hurry to hear Father's speech. Praise the gods. It would not be proper if we were not present when Father makes his speech. He is very likely starting to worry about us himself. Ragada, you all know that the elves are outside our walls. These infidels call us barbarians. They would drive us from this land. But what the elves do not know is that Rupka himself guided us to these shores. He decreed that the Alakir would be our home. Today, the infidels will see the strength of the Shahai. Ansi will guide our blades. Today, the sands will run red with elven blood. Strong Samir, my heart is proud. I believe this will be a day of destiny for you and your brother. If we wish to remain here, we must cleanse the land of these elves' taint. Yes, and much of the glory for this victory will go to you and your brother. I send you forth as my champions to slice through the elves' ranks and find their leader. You will cut off the snake's head, and then the body will wither and die. Yes, it is a great honor and a great responsibility. But you have proven your valor time and again, Samir. I know you will succeed and clear the way for our people's future. Go now, and go with the gods, my son. You have my blessing. 
I know you will be victorious, my son. May Ansi guide your blade. Give me a moment, Samir. I must make my offering to Onsi. Come to my tent when you are ready to enter the battle. Our deeds today will be remembered for generations to come, brother. Lead on. already lost. Samir, what has befallen here? Quickly, we must find Father. Ask the Vizier where he is. You are too late, Samir. Your father is dead. Even worse, some elven necromancer. He turned... The necromancer slew your father and then reanimated his corpse. It is the most terrible thing I have ever seen. He is lost. There is nothing to be done for it. Samir, you must not go in there. You would have to strike down your own father. As darkly as these events have transpired, our laws remain sacred. 
Your father is honored dead. Harm his remains, and you dishonor yourself. Yes, there is no other choice to be made. I know your father would not want us to abandon our new home here, but he could not have foreseen this. He would not have us break the sacred law. You must not even consider such a thing. We should discuss this, Samir. Come with me. Fate has dealt us a cruel hand, my brother. I agree with you. Father would not want us to flee our home. But do we dishonor ourselves? To kill him would mean exile, but... I am willing to do this if you command. Because it is clear that one of us must make this sacrifice. You are in line to become king now. If you strike our father, you would be throwing all of this away. For me, there is not as much at stake. Just speak the command and I will go, brother. No! No, please! I beseech you to reconsider this decision, Samir. I cannot bear to see you exiled. What will I do? I am not sewn from the same cloth as you and father. I am not meant to be king. And then, I would not have such courage. In my mind, you are a hero for what you have done. No, you deserve to be honored for your actions. But the Vizier says that by law, you must be exiled instead. I... I don't know what to do. Your courage, your humility. You should be king, not I. I'm sorry. I suppose I must stop acting like a child and accept my responsibility. Whatever happens, though, your sacrifice will never be forgotten. I love you, my brother. Why, Samir? Why? You have broken the most sacred tradition of the kingdom. Nothing can justify such sacrilege. The law is clear, Samir. Exile. You must leave here now and never return. Good. Then there is nothing more for us to discuss. Let us hope your brother learns to listen to my counsel, and to make better decisions than you have. Welcome back. You were gone for longer than I expected. I trust you walked in the steps of Prince Samir of Yath and experienced the events that led to his exile? He was. Samir went on to start a family and a tribe in exile. 
They wandered the desert as nomads and became known as the Ashaba. Hakmir became king and ruled peacefully until years later, when he again faced the threat of necromancers and undead. The colony from Yath would have fallen, but Samir led his tribe against the necromancers and their army of risen dead. The Ashaba accepted the dishonor of fighting the dead to save the kingdom. So it has been ever since. You have now witnessed the first sacrifice, and you know that true honor need not be named. You are one of us. You are Ashaba. We will recognize you as our sister, and together, we will uphold the sacred duty of our tribe. Yes. The words have been spoken. Normally, my father would conduct a small ceremony and speak the words, but his spirit moved on while you were unconscious. His last request was that you and I would destroy the Withered Hand. There is little we can do to help our fellow Ashaba here now, so we should do as my father wished. We should dedicate ourselves to destroying the Withered Hand. They killed my father. I will enjoy the opportunity to even the score. There is a place to the northeast, a sacred place called Tuwaka's throne. It is a place of quiet and of honor. Many, many heroes have been laid to rest there. I worry what would happen if the Withered Hand were to go there. I must see to the consecration of my father's remains. It would be disrespectful to do otherwise. Go on to Tuwaka's throne. Look for an Ashaba named Ramati. I know these sands well. I will catch up with you soon enough. I learn not to trust Stibbins. He's ruined everything. Oh, such a relief to see a familiar face in this ghastly desert, particularly today. You helped me get the crown of Anton. Would you consider assisting in my archaeological efforts again? I've encountered something of a setback here. Well, I discovered this fabulous portal in the Aeliot ruins. I sent my assistant through, and it was a mistake. The portal apparently leads to somewhere in the Grotwood, and basically he returned with the Ald Mary army at his heels. Yes, and unfortunately it seems they're now planning a full-scale invasion. Establishing a base, building siege weapons. We need to close the portal, quickly. I discovered an old tome that explains how, if I can find it again. Will you help me? You're a true hero, and I mean that. My camp is beside the ruins. That's where I left the book we need. Get the book, use it to activate the large pillars in the ruins. Then meet me inside the west door to the lower ruins. The portal's down there. I suppose that's a reasonable question. As you might imagine, the elves have locked the main entrance to the portal room. There is a back way, however, through an old prison of some sort. The pillars unlock the door into the prison. Oh, I haven't the foggiest notion what's in the prison. It's been centuries, though. Whatever was down there is surely dead. If not, well, you seem capable enough. And it can't be any worse than the damned elves. My researchers in High Rock gave me the essential background. Solace N was an alien stronghold built by human slaves in the Marithic era. The elves eventually got what they deserved during the Yokudan colonization of Hammerfell in the First Era. It's quite fascinating, really. 
It would seem to prove that the Altmer and the Aliots were still connected further into the Marethic era than we believed. I actually wrote a book on the subject. Well, someone wrote it for me, but who's counting? Hmm, how kind of you to ask. Let's see. I was in Rothgar for a while, but Orcish history is such a bore, so I left there and visited some Dwemer ruins in Morrowind. Then I wound up coming here. Stibbins has remained with me, of course. Regrettably. Who knows? Who cares? The blathering fool created such a mess here. He's become a liability, especially since the Tomb of Kings. I have a new man assisting me now. He's much more... efficient. Not as efficient as you, but you're not for hire. Oh, hello there. I remember you. Uh, from that tomb in Glenumbra. My memory is so foggy, but I, I remember your face. You won't believe this, but Lady Laurent has fired me. Now I don't know what to do. Because it's all my fault. The Aldmeri. Lady Laurent sent me through the portal to investigate. When the elves saw me, I ran and led them to the portal. So now she hates me. Please, I beg you, will you help me get back in her good graces? Praise you, praise you. I'm trying to gather all her things, but her tools are scattered out in the ruins, and those are her most important possessions. If you'll get the tools for me, I just know she'll forgive me. I just know it. There's one more thing you should know. Lady Laurent hired this thuggish Tamian fellow, and I believe she already asked him to recover her tools. You should speak to him up on the ramparts, and tell him we have it taken care of. Because he's a brute, and I need to be the one to give her the tools. If I can't make her forgive me, she'll just leave me here, and then what will I do? This is my only chance. No, that expedition was quite a success. A and I was the one who found you. There's simply no explanation for why she's treating me this way.
Well, well, if it isn't my old friend from Crosswitch. Let me guess, Lady Laurent has you helping clean up this mess she made. Or is it Stibbins, the bootless coward? He's hoping Lady Laurent will forgive him. It could be worse. Lady Laurent pays well, and she's got a pretty ambitious travel schedule. So I'm getting to see places I had never dreamed of. Can't say this desert's one of the highlights, though. Did he? I'm surprised he could get that out through the whimpering and whining. Lady Laurent already has someone to recover her tools. And you would recover them and give Stibbins the credit? Just following orders. Even before this, Stibbins couldn't keep up, so Lady Laurent hired me. I was just getting a bird's eye view before getting to work. Say, though, if you were going to save Stibbins the trouble, why not help me instead? Well, for one thing, I'm better looking. For another, I'm actually getting paid. Stibbins was always just a glorified slave. Help me get the tools and I'll cut you in. Don't think too long. I'll go down there and get the tools myself if I have to. They're in backpacks, by the way. I bet Stibbins didn't even tell you that. I was wondering if you were going to ask that. Yeah, I snatched up a few tool bags earlier. But there's no reason for me to give them to you, is there? I suppose if you want to lug around the extra weight, I won't complain. Once you've got them all, though, just remember to bring them back to me, not Stibbins. Don't think too long. I'll go down there and get the tools myself if I have to. They're in backpacks, by the way. I bet Stibbins didn't even tell you that. I watched you rummaging around out there in the ruins. If you had been in trouble, I would have had your back. Just so you know. I'm guessing you've gathered all the tools by now? All right, it's time to get paid then. Give me the tools and I'll go ahead and give you half of what Lady Laurent promised. I think that's being pretty generous of me. Here's half, along with my gratitude, which can be quite valuable in certain circles. I hope we cross paths again. Next time, I'll be the one doing you a good turn. You can count on it. 
Poor Craven Stibbons. The truth is, I almost feel for him. Almost. You certainly made short work of those elves. There seem to be few odd skeletons down here. No problem for you, I'm sure. Now, I assume you found the old tome in my camp? Thank you very much. Fortunately, I can translate the ancient Iliad, and that should tell us how to close the portal. It's through this door right behind me. The problem is that it's locked, but it appears that it's controlled by a switch deeper in the ruins. Would you be a dear and find the switch? Oh. <sighs> Only I could have someone like you around full time. If you'll get the switch, that will give me time to study up whatever words I need to speak to close the portal. Once you get it opened, I'll just go on in, so meet me in the portal room. Before you speak, stranger, know this. For centuries a spell has bound me. Many have tried to free me and failed. This prison has no lock or bonds to break. Did you hear me? This is no common spell. It was cast by Ultimer wizards long since dead. This is a true curse. The task is beyond you. Of course, a fool would still try. Do as you wish. I won't harbor faint hope. For centuries, amateurs like yourself have tried to release me. Fools, all of you. You'd have a better chance of becoming the next Emperor. It pains me to speak of the past. Would you force me to relive such bitter memories? Ha! Please! There's a word I remember well. Please, she said to me. No one will know, she promised. She was wrong. Nuralanya, she was called in her high elven tongue. She was just Nura when we were together. 
I could deny her nothing. I was enthralled, a slave madly in love with his master. Our secret was eventually exposed, and the elves were furious. Our love was an abomination in their eyes. They decided execution was too kind a punishment for our crime. Aye, I was here, and she was there. To see one another, but not able to hear, or touch, or hold. Yet even that torment was insufficient for their retribution. The elves wove a spell to extend my life and prolong- Elves live a long time, but not forever. I sat and watched as Nura slowly grew old and died. Sometime after that, the regatta came and slaughtered the other elves. But even with them dead, the spell held strong. It was the Regatta, the Warrior Wave. The Warriors sought vengeance. The swords of Yakuda passed through these halls, and the High Elves were washed away. They would have killed me, were it not for this spell. Instead, I watched, safely ensconced within this prison, as my captors were slaughtered. Many centuries passed before I learned who the Warriors were, or from whence they came. A foreign people had arrived on these shores. They came from a distant land. Yakuda, it was called. Yakudan warriors set out to conquer the new world they found. Singers named them the Regatta. If I knew, don't you think I would have escaped by now? All I know is the tiles must be used in the right order, and the order was determined by time, whatever that means. Expect that to work.
How are you doing that? Onto something. By the bloody fangs of Moloch, by the stench of Moloch's gaping maw, what have you done? How can this be? I'm free? I... I should thank you, but I don't even think this is what I wanted. It's been so long since my life was my own. This is all I know. I don't want to leave. The orc I know and love would never utter such words. Nora, is it really you? It's been so long. We've suffered enough of this curse. By the grace of Mara, I've been allowed to take you beyond this mortal realm. Finally, a release from the suffering of this world. Come, my love. We have the rest of eternity to be together. They have so much faith in that seal they put on the main door. They don't even have anyone guarding the portal. I'm not complaining, though. Are you ready to do this? All right. You're going to have to protect me, though. 
The chamber may be clear now, but as soon as I start the ritual, they'll realize it on the other side. They might try to charge through and stop us. All right, let's get this started. <clears throat> Goroso Mayaka? Woohoo! Take that, you damned elves! Oh, wait, I just lost my place. Alusaba Takio? Tak. Yo, taco? All right, I think I've got it. Mala alu takeo. Well, that takes care of that now, doesn't it? I'm actually quite relieved. It would have been so embarrassing to have been responsible for the fall of Alakir. After I opened the portal, I considered just leaving and denying that I was ever here. I am too. Now. If you would, though, I still would prefer to keep this quiet. I do have a reputation to uphold, you know.
there's an alien ruin under the Locrata Hills? I never suspected such a thing. Know this. Like all things, the pearl was covered in sand. Thus it came to belong to Zet, who works the land. When the pearl is uncovered, the time of Sep's hunger will be over, and water will run from the pearl all over the dead skins, and the hungry stomach will at last... One sound will open the way, and one sound will close it. Take the call and find a goat. Use the call to lead the goat across the water as an offering to the beast. Only then it will be sated, and only then can you return to me. The pearl is the way and the guide. It is the light to the far shores and back again, as they are placed by tall Papa's hand. So it begins again. Satak was the first serpent. Satakal eats himself, and the spirits move to the far shores to wait for their next skin. Ruptka became the tall Papa, and he made the great map with the stars in his hand. When Sep tricked the spirits, he put a star in his pocket. This was the pearl that fell out when Tall Papa squashed Sep with his staff. Sand covered the pearl, thus it came to Zet, who works the land. When the pearl is uncovered, the time of Sep's hunger will be over. Water from the pearl will run over the skins, and the hungry stomach will at last be full. What answers the call is the hunger. Has it been sated? The story never changes, never shifts, as do the stars and the sands. You've done your part, and I must do mine. Know this, so it begins again. Satak was the first serpent. The pearl is the way and the guide, the light to the far shores and back again, placed by tall Papa's hand. that failed sword saint now, brooding in some sandy cave on the edges of oblivion. I don't want 
wants revenge. I want your submission. Well, after all the years it's taken me to find this place, I certainly did not expect to see someone else down here. Were you searching for it as well? Or do you even realize that this is the final resting place of Sabasad the Shield? He was one of Divad Hunding's companions. He died fighting goblins. He was also my ancestor. I have spent seven years in the desert searching for Sabasad's remains. My wife deemed this a fool's errand. She has probably given up on me by now. Soon, yes. First, though, I must take proof of my find to the temple in Satakalam and ask the priest to ensure this is turned into a proper shrine. I wonder, would you consider taking word to her, telling Felisa I live, that I have succeeded? I hope the message will give her some solace, and perhaps soften her heart so she will not be so angry when I return. She is in Sentinel, possibly in the inn. Tell her I've found Sabasad's remains and that I love her, and I will soon be home. It was one of those coincidences that can only be the work of the gods. I had exhausted my search of this area and decided to move on. I sat down to rest, leaned back, and fell down this hole. I was knocked out, but awoke to find I was here. I am not certain. Perhaps she has. More one knows that would have been better for her, but I have a feeling she abides for me. We had a very special love, and it was hard for me to leave. I owed this to my father, though. May his soul rest in peace.
They will pay for what they have done. Satakal's wrath, Wayfarer. Unless you want to wade through an army of undead, go no further. These dogs, the Withered Hand, they seized control of Tuwaka's throne. And now they are raising the consecrated dead. How is this even possible? Beyonce wards, stolen. There is no way. The impervious vault. How? This does explain how they raise the consecrated dead, though. It also explains why Tuwaka is so angry. He speaks to me. He says the temple must be cleansed. And now! Oh, Tuwaka will do the cleansing. We must only clear the way. If you will help me light the sacred braziers, Tuwaka will send his breath to help us destroy the Withered Hand and return the dead to the sand. For each direction the wind blows, there is a brazier. Light the first three and meet me at the west brazier. I will light that one. Then we will light the central brazier together and soon see Uwafa and his Withered Hand destroyed. We do not know. There is no record of these defenses ever being used. All I can recall is reading that it is supposed to help cleanse the temple and return the dead to their rest. Uncertainty is part of the fun, though, right? This man is very dangerous. He is the leader of these withered hand dogs. He offered me the chance to leave peacefully. I wanted to protect my fellow priests, but we could not surrender to Waka's sacred ground without a fight. Tuwaka is the caretaker of the far shores. We will all visit him one day. The throne is the final resting place of our honored ancestors. Our heroes have been buried here for centuries. It is terrible that their rest has been disturbed. Are you a pilgrim? The throne is not safe for you today. This is not good. Not good at all. I've killed a skeleton or two in my day, but this... this is worse than that. We are going to need more Ashaba. You? I'm pretty good with faces, but I don't know yours. You must have just joined then. Either way, welcome to the tribe. It's good that you're here. Do you understand why I am concerned? Some of the greatest heroes in history are buried here. Kings, queens, legendary warriors. If they've risen, it is a Shabbat duty to kill them, and that's not going to be easy. There is. I maintain vigil here to ensure that certain ancient heroes, let's just say, if they're raised, that's a problem. With what's happened here, I need someone to check their graves. If they're up and about, they need to be put down. Thank you. This is no small thing, I ask, and I appreciate you stepping up. The three graves I need you to check belong to Amish Arena, Yokida Razul, and Queen Afsar. They changed the course of history. They deserve to rest now. I'll mark the graves' locations on your map. I'd go with you but I have to watch and ensure they don't slip by. There are other Ashaba who can join you, though. You want one skilled in swordplay, or one who's adept at restoration magic? 
You are brave to cross blades with these heroes yourself. Don't worry, though. This man will ensure you do not fall. There are many heroes buried here, to be sure. But these three are the ones Ashaba scholars are most concerned about. They were extremely powerful in life. And scholars fear they could be extremely dangerous in death. Rina was an Arminger in the Order of the Agna, who died in the final days of the Siege of Orsinium. She was born in the siege camp there and spent her entire 26 years fighting the orcs. They say it was her sacrifice that brought us victory. Razul fought alongside Divad Humding, leading the Regatta to conquer Alakir. When the Natotambu and the Yokud nobility came later, Razul made himself Yokida to cement the power of the Regatta. Some call him the first forebear. Yes, she seized the throne the ancient way. Late in the first era, the king died with no heir and the nobles squabbled over the throne. Afsar solidified her rule by killing the opposition. Despite its bloody start, her reign was very peaceful.
have done well, Wayfarer. Tuwaka is pleased. Very soon, it is like Tuwaka is taking in the air and preparing to send his breath. The withered hand here will soon crumble, and the particles will drift away like sand in the wind. Tuwaka says you will have the pleasure of killing this Uwafa. With his help, of course. First, you must light the final brazier over there. Then, Tuwaka's breath will come. Uwafa has sealed himself inside the sanctum with my priests. I fear for them, but Tuwaka will help us. He will unseal the doors. Then you can go in and kill this necromancer bastard. Are you ready to witness the power of a god, my friend? Go now, and light the final brazier. Do not fear the power of Tuwaka. You and I, we are his champions in this. Oh yes, we cannot forget those. If this Uwafa has them, we will soon get them back. Even with the Anse wards, Uwafa is no match for the strength of a god. Of course. All priests of Tuwaka know such things. The wards were forged when three Anse gave their lives to channel their spirits into their blades. They did this so that the wards would protect the consecrated dead. In the hands of these necromancers, the strength of the Anse wards is much weakened. With some magics, they might even be able to pervert the wards' power for terrible ends. It is good that we will soon have them back. Keeper of souls, hear the prayer of your humble servant. Your sacred grounds have been defiled. The rest of our ancestors have been disturbed. I ask you to send your sacred breath to cleanse the temple and give us your blessing to destroy the defiler. He has now given his blessing. Into sanctum. Go into the Our inner sanctum and kill Uwafa! in my ward is gone, but the other wards we must find them. I am very proud. Tuwaka says that you smote this Uwafa mightily. You recovered the ward of Anse Radan as well. The temple is restored, and Alakir is safer. Tuwaka is pleased. Tuwaka says you should not worry. He says you will find them. I can watch over the ward of Anse Radan for now. Tuwaka has much faith in you, my friend. He wants me to give you this. You should be honored. 
I do not know where the other Anse wards have been taken, but Tuwaka tells me that you must go east, my friend. He says that is the next step on your journey. No, Tuwaka is quiet now. He is not worried about you. He is more worried about me getting the temple cleaned up. I have a suggestion, though. I think you should start your search in the city of Bergama. There is a great scholar in Bergama. Her name is Zore. She knows much about the Anse wards. She may have the answers we seek. Wherever you go, Tuwaka will be with you. Of that, I am certain. There's no need for me to ask whether the heroes had been raised when you found them. I only need to know, are they now at rest? Then you fulfilled the duty of the Ashaba here, and saved me a dung heap of trouble. As we Ashaba always say, true honor need not be named. I hope we cross paths again.